Back in January, my friend Mary asked if I wanted to join her for an American desert road trip. She explained that her son's girlfriend had asked her to organize and basically be the guide for a trip to Sedona, the Grand Canyon, and Zion as her college graduation celebration. Since those were all places I wanted to see and experience, and I know how amazing Mary is at travel planning, I said yes. So a few weeks ago, we took the trek from Raleigh to Las Vegas where we kicked off Desert Tour 2022. With less than 12 hours in Vegas, and most of those spent sleeping, we used our time before checking out to grab some delicious breakfast at Egg Slut, and I highly recommend their truffle hash browns. And we also explored the current installation at the Bellagio Gardens, which was incredible. As we started off towards Sedona, we made a little detour to explore the famous Hoover Dam, considered one of the seven wonders of the industrial world. Now, I had seen the Hoover Dam from a distance before, and I was pretty ambivalent about stopping to see it. So I'm going to admit that I had pretty low expectations coming to Hoover Dam today, but it is blowing my mind. Not only is it just an incredible feat of engineering, but it's gorgeous here and the photography opportunities for the the art deco architecture against the ruggedness of the mountains it's really worth coming out and checking it out if you are in the area you can park for free if you go past the visitor center and go over to the arizona side if you keep going up to the hoover dam lookout then you will find a couple of free parking areas if you don't mind walking a little bit more. The Hoover Dam was built during the Depression, and surprisingly, it was completed two years ahead of schedule. Unfortunately, 112 lives were lost during the construction of the dam. But in my opinion, given the era and the extremely dangerous aspects of the construction, I mean, putting dynamite into a side of a cliff and getting out of the way before it blows, that's kind of crazy. I'm really kind of surprised there weren't more fatalities. As the construction neared the end and the more aesthetic aspects of the dam were being designed, the architects and sculptures incorporated the very popular Art Deco themes of the day, while also trying to create works that would honor the workers, the Navajo and Pueblo tribes of the area, and the very unique landscape that surrounds the dam. And you can see some of this in this really cool bass relief that's on the elevator tower. Crossing the Hoover Dam, you also cross the Nevada Arizona state line. Does Welcome to Arizona. So we're in Arizona now. Yay! There are even two clocks on either side to remind you of what time it is in each state, since Arizona does not observe daylight savings time. Of course, that's all going to change for every one of us very soon. During our trip, we crossed timelines so many times, we were never really sure what time it was or what state we were in. As you can see from the water lines, Lake Mead, the reservoir formed by the dam, is at an all-time historic low from the severe droughts that are affecting the southwest. In fact, the water is so low that just a week before we were there, they found a body in a barrel that authorities think is from the 1970s. There are a few hikes you can do in the area, but because we wanted to get to Sedona before sunset, we headed on back to the highway and began truly driving through the desert. As we got closer to Sedona though, we entered the Kaibab National Forest and chose to take the Oak Creek Canyon scenic route from Flagstaff to Sedona. It was beautiful and way more trees than I ever expected. We arrived at our sweet Airbnb just in time to have a lovely sunset dinner on the back patio overlooking Thunder Mountain. It was the perfect end to our first day. If you want to see us hike, slide and boulder our way through the southwest make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell too so you'll be notified when the next video comes out thank you so much for watching